Hi, I'm Robin from Eventide, and I'm gonna show you today the Research Assistant. So to open the Research Assistant, you go to the upper right-hand corner of your screen and click on this gray magic wand. That'll open the Research Assistant. And from here, you can use three different modes to conduct your search, typing mode, voice command mode, and listening mode. So let's start with typing. I'll come down to the text box and type in pull all medical records from the past two weeks. Now notice in my prompt that I'm not giving very specific dates. I've said two weeks and the AI research assistant has no trouble with that. It's gonna calculate two weeks out from today. So I'll click on this arrow or I can hit enter and the search begins. I will search for all medical records from the past two weeks, covering the period from November 21, 2024, to December 5, 2024, across all resources. All right, so in just a matter of seconds, we've got 406 records. This is all of our medical calls over the past two weeks. Now, some people like having the voice assistant talking in their ear, others do not. So you can turn it off here by clicking on this audio button. All right, so now I have it off. And let's say I wanted to refine this search further and I only wanted to look at inbound calls from this list. So I can type in pull all inbound calls from this list and the research assistant is gonna narrow that search for me. We can watch down here in this search box as it completes its work. And there we go, we've got 355 records. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and clear this search out and we'll start with another one. So I will clear by using this reset button here. Click on that. And the research assistant will be ready for another search. Alrighty, so now I'm going to go ahead and transition us to our next mode of search, and that's voice command. So I'll click here on this microphone. It's going to show up red, and when it does, it will be listening to me for a search command. Let's look for fire this time. So here we go. Search for all fire calls from the past two weeks. That looks correct. I'm gonna go ahead and click on that. At this point, it has stopped listening to me. And it's conducted a search. It's got 58 records. All right, so here's all fire calls for the past two weeks. I'm gonna go ahead and turn my sound back on for this next part because I'm gonna show you the last mode for conducting your search, and that is listening mode. So many of us, have cell phones and other technology in our lives that are constantly running in the background and listening to us to give those magic words to activate them. So we have the same thing here. Our magic words are, hey, assistant. And once we have that listening mode set, we can even close up the research assistant and say, hey, assistant, and ask it, for do it, for it to do the search, and it will. So let's take a look at that together. I'm going to go ahead and refine this search further, and I'm going to ask the research assistant to find just inbound calls from this list. You have enabled, hey assistant, speak, hey assistant, and I will start listening and assisting you with your search. Hey assistant, would you just pull inbound calls from this list? Filtering the list to show only inbound fire calls from the past two weeks. All right, 46 records. Now I'm going to do one more piece here. I'm going to close this up. You'll see that in the upper right-hand corner, this magic wand is now green. That means that the research assistant is listening in the back for those key words, and I can still conduct my search without it open on my screen. Hey, assistant. From this list, find all of the fire calls that mentioned a gas leak. Searching for fire calls mentioning a gas leak from the past two weeks. 
and here we are. Now I can turn off listening mode at any time by clicking and opening the research assistant and clicking on that green microphone. All right, now you know how to open the research assistant and use three different modes to conduct efficient and accurate searches.